Hey guys, welcome back to Gary's World. I am Gary, and today we're going to talk about the dangers of society. For example, like something like rap music. Rap music is entertainment. It's not meant for you to live your life based off their words and what they say they backgrounds are. A lot of people uh, listening to these rappers, imitating these rappers, dressing like these rappers, inspired by these rappers, talking like the rappers, and they forget who they are. They don't, sometimes they don't even know who they are. It's such a shame. It's, it, it, it really is. And some of the people out there, some of the people in today's world is getting locked up and they're never seeing the light of the day again. Influence off of rappers. And not just rappers, entertainment, uh, what's that, uh, reality TV, like love and hip hop and, and uh, stuff like real world and stuff like that. You know, all those reality shows are entertainment. It's not real. They, they might say it's reality, but it's not. It's, 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 it's all fiction. It's fiction. And a lot of people uh, are blinded by the truth. And, you know, a lot of people have conversations, you know, on Twitter, on social media. Oh, did you see this? Oh, that was me. I would do this. I would do this. And they take that with them, taking it home, taking it to work, taking it to school and stuff like that. They're literally brainwashed. And sometimes to us being human and stuff like that, you know, we go through life just sleepwalking, you know, um, the same routines over and over again. Listen to music watch on social media and look at the new trends oh you know okay you know for example like i i see a lot of tights like a lot of female wear tights now and stuff like that you know and and it's no it's, it's no it's, it's a trend it's, it's no because hey they're just comfortable and they just came out they've been out for years they've been out for a long time and now everybody's just wearing tights now Think about it. Why are every single, well, I'm not going to say every single, no, but I just say a lot of society I see are, a lot of females are wearing tights. Where is this coming from? Who are you trying to be? Was that you like four or five years ago? Was that you 10 years ago? But every single day, like, you know, tights are the new thing. It's cool if you, I mean, you really enjoy it and stuff like that. But the point I'm trying to make is, 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 is it that entertainment? Is it movies? Is it your favorite um, music artist? Is it your favorite actress? Where is it coming from? I believe some of it's coming from entertainment and society. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. But the point I'm trying to make is be yourself. Be yourself. You don't have to follow what everybody else is following. If you like jeans, wear jeans. If you like mini dresses, wear mini dresses. Be yourself. And know the difference between entertainment and reality. It's two different things. Don't get brainwashed off the music, off the social media. Don't get brainwashed off the worldly quotes. It's destroying a lot of people and they don't realize it. You're so busy focusing on other people's lives, like uh, Kim Kardashian, uh, was it, uh, uh, all, just any entertainment on social media, Wherever the case may be, on Instagram, Facebook, you're following all these people. You're buying all their albums. You're, 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 you're supporting. You're supporting them more than you supporting your own self. What about your goals? What about your dreams? What about what you want to be in life? You, you just think about it. Say to you, just think about it for one quick second. How much time do you spend on social media? How much time does that distract you throughout the day? And how much of an effect does it have on you? Does it have a good effect on you? Or do it have a negative effect on you? 
That's something to think about. A lot of people go out to work every single day miserable. And one of those, one of the sources of that misery because you're distracted by entertainment and society, the same old routine over and over again. You have to think for yourself. Sometimes I recommend put the social media away. Put it away for a, a, a day. Put it away for a day. I mean, no, I mean, no Facebook. I mean, if you have your phone, if you have your phone, if the people that you're close to that are calling you, texting, that's completely different. I'm talking about social media, just in general, like the the, the quotes on there, the the, the what's the the, the the writing, the post on there, like the just for one day, just leave it alone. The Instagram, the Facebooks, just leave it alone. Think, just try to have a clear head without society brainwashing you don't get me wrong not this is not for everybody out there in the world I'm not saying everybody's brainwashed no I'm not saying that I, well I am saying the people that are brainwashed and stuff like that I'm, I strongly highly recommend that you just wake up it's a lot of time wasted with following other people listening to other people believing other people you're hurting your life not everybody not everybody, but some people out there, you're hurting your life. You have to worry about you have to worry about yourself. Females, guys, worry about yourself, your dreams and your goals, and not let the society of entertainment distract you. Life is way too short. So, you know, I had a I had a friend of mine that um he was strongly influenced off of uh, uh, rap music. His uh, favorite rapper uh, is uh, Meek Mills. And, you know, I, I used to tease him, too. Um, I used to say, hey, man, you know, your boy Meek Mills lost that battle and stuff like that. And I didn't care about it at all. I didn't care about that at all. But I knew that that would get some type of, you know, reaction out of him. And, like, you know, in a real offensive way. He's like, no, man, no, you know. Meek, you know, what's that, what's that, uh, Meek was going through this, Meek was going through that, I would tell him, relax, relax, that's, that's, that's not your, it's not your brother, that's, 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 it's, it's, it's entertainment, it's, it's, a, it's a rap battle, it's a, literally a rap battle, it's, it's just entertainment, but just the point I'm making and stuff like that, in his mind, in his mind, he really believed that it's more serious than what it really is, it's just entertainment. In the end of the day, that gentleman, Meek Mills, is successful. He accomplished his dreams and aspiration. He accomplished it. I salute him. I mean, I'm not a fan of his music personally, but I do. I was that, but I do respect his accomplishments. Now, I was that. Now, I don't. I not necessarily don't agree with the type of message he's putting out there. You know, having sex with this woman, having sex with this woman. You know, hurting people. It's really negativity that's coming out of there, and it's destroyed a lot of lives with that with that negativity. It's corrupting a lot of people's minds. So, yeah, you know, you have to really focus on what's reality and what's not real, and think for yourself. Don't listen to the rappers. Don't listen to social media have your own clear understanding and know try to have an idea of what's coming from a good place and what's coming from a bad place some people out there will will want you to be miserable I, i've seen females out there that would tell other females what's that um yeah ha you know have your baby and stuff like you don't need him you'll be just fine without him but in reality they know the, the hardship, the, 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 the how tough it is having a kid on their own. They know that. They know what it's like to get on public transportation and being on there with a, with a, with a child. They know how hard it is. They know how hard it is to be able to, to provide a roof and food for 18 years. Long time. 18 years. 
There's females out there that got their kids taken away because they thought they can just John Henry Armstrong the world. And they're giving this information, saying, telling this other female, knowing how hard it is, instead of telling her, you know, well, you know, you know what, you know, something you might want to be careful, might want to be careful because it's no joke. Instead of giving them the right information, they, they, they want them to go down that road. So guys, I love you. I care about you. Please love one another, respect one another, and take care.